One thing this show does is bring you all the latest celebrity interviews from our favorite celebs both on the continent and in the USA. In Starville, we feature the hottest trailblazing celebs. When you think of trailblazing, one should look no further than Twilight, a movie that has grossed millions both in theatrical and DVD sales and is about to come out with its fourth and final rendition titled Breaking Dawn. Now, did you know that Judy Shikoni, the actress that plays Safrina, is actually part Nigerian? I had no idea. Wow. Well, Erin caught up with her in Beverly Hills for lunch, shopping, and a limo ride. <laughs> Beverly Hills, Erin shopping mm -hmm. in a limo. Hmm. Sounds like a really rough day. <laughs> How did you end up in Los Angeles? Um, by plane. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to someone the other day, like the first eight things that you do in acting all just seem absolutely terrible. I don't think there's any way that you can rush it because it's so many things that have happened to me as an individual and as a person now have affected what I do in acting. So there is no way that I could have been like, oh my god, I should have gone much deeper when I did that scene where someone broke my heart when I was like 19 because maybe I'd never had my heart broken so I would never have really known what that was like. What are some of your techniques that you use to relate to the characters that you play? I actually think the majority of my acting work is actually based on putting myself in a good state. Uh, so that's where the meditation and the pills come in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and shopping trips. To shopping, yeah, shopping Gucci. helps too. <laughs> Where's the best place in LA to get a cocktail? You know what, I kind of normally just go to parties. Where are some of the best parties that you've been to? We used to have this great party. After the Oscars, it would start at 12 o'clock and it would go until 6 o'clock in the morning. Wow. And it was like the after party for the Oscars. And everyone would be there. And like literally people would be like holding their Oscars and like stumbling like around the party. Uh, so that was like always a go-to party, but they stopped that unfortunately. If you had 24 hours to plan out your perfect ideal LA outing, mm -hmm. it can involve anything, any part of town. What would you do? I would probably get up and I would do some meditation because it really just grounds me. Uh, then I would probably go to the gym. Maybe uh, I'd like to shoot something. So maybe I'm shooting a film or something and I go and shoot and just do a half day and nip in, do my scenes. Everyone loves me, they think I'm wonderful. I'm going to win an Oscar, etc, etc. Um, and then um, my incredible um, boyfriend who looks like a mixture between Brad Pitt and Johnny Depp um, picks me up in a limousine. Probably whisks like me off this. like this. What are your top five Google searches? Probably it would be James Morrison. He's an incredible uh, musical artist. Movies, probably something to do with movies. Uh, then, um, hmm. I have no idea what else. It's not something that you really remember. So you live in a house, which mm -hmm. is nice. I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of people in LA are living in apartments. So. Yeah, yeah. LA is kind of strange, like it depends what you want. You can either live kind of in the middle of like Hollywood and everything like that or you can choose to have a huge house up in the hills or kind of maybe in Malibu. It's almost like you have to choose isolation. It's like you almost have to live in the thick of it or you have to be That's exactly out of it. Yeah, I mean I think what most people seem to do is they make their own like city from their house. They literally like I want a bowling alley and I want a cinema and I want this that, and the other. So I play Zafrina, she's a leader of the Amazons, and I have a special power. I can make people see anything I want them to see. And um, I have a couple of other people in my coven, and uh, it's, we, we arrived to help the Cullens fight the Volturi, so it's kind of action-packed, and there's a lot of relationship things going on, and I get to be a vampire. Oh, that's pretty. This is pretty. 